God is in me, through me, for me, and with me. And where there's God, there's no imperfection. Kings and queens, welcome. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. We're out here hanging out by the pool, getting a haircut today. How to know that you are living your truth. You know, if you, if you find yourself really waking up, you're not, you're not happy. You're, you're sort of doubting your lifestyle, whether it be at a job, you don't know, you know, if this is something, it's something that you once found happy, but it's not really fulfilling you completely. You know, if you're having doubts about a relationship, about, about your spiritual journey, about the religion that you're a part of, or, you know, the whatever, whatever you're doing, about your eating habits, how to know that you're living your truth, how to know that you are going in the right path. Let's talk about it. One of the things that really, really helped me out to know that I was living my truth, one of the things that will help you guys out is to know that you're living your truth when you're just overall a happier person. You know, if you're finding yourself waking up, you're excited, you're happy, you know, and you're just exuding that energy to everyone that you see, everyone that you meet, then you're probably most likely living your truth. You're most likely excited about the day because it's another day to shine your light. You know, if people will see that as well. And when people see that, they know that you're living your truth. You know, if you're going to work and you, you feel stuck or you feel like that your energy is not able to flow in a, in a, in a good way, you know, a lot of times those are those are the times we had to really evaluate it because when you're when you're living your truth, you you feel free. Your soul feels free. Your spirit feels free. You, you don't feel stuck. The stagnant energy, stagnant energy, is is the, the the beginning of disease, of depression. When you're feeling stagnant, that you can't grow, that you can't push forward, that is. That is when you feel sad. So if you're happy, I mean truly passionate about you know this relationship, what you're doing, I mean from the soul, and it's not just words, a lot of times that is a telltale sign that you are living your truth and continue to do so. There's gonna be difficult days, there's gonna be times you don't feel like waking up, you don't feel like doing whatever it is that you're doing, and you may not be happy that you're waking up, but overall you will you will be you will be shining your light and the people that you care about the people that are around you you will also want them to be happy because it all it all fix it fits in with one another you know when you're living your truth and when you're living your light what's inside of you is what people will see eventually they'll see it expressed through you and you will want other people to feel it the same way as you do you know, that's, that's something that really, you know, is pivotal in my life, something that I had to really learn is, you know, you don't want to just hold on to the love and not show it to nobody. You're going to want to have everyone feel the same love that you're feeling because it's a certain frequency that you're on. You know, another thing that really has helped me out in terms of knowing that I am living my truth is to know that you will begin to attract People, people will begin to want to be around you. Just, it's just, it's, it's just what happens. It's like a mosquito or, or a moth when they when they see the light. They want to be around it. They want to just, zip, zip. they just want to be around it. They just want to, no matter if it zaps them, they still want to be <laughs> around the light. When you're shining your light, people will recognize it. Real recognizes real. Real recognizes real. So when you are doing what you're supposed to do, people will recognize that. There's a lot of people who are millionaires who, you know, we look up to and we think that they are, you know, just happy and, you know, we want to be around them, you know, from afar. We want to be around them. We want to meet them, you know. But once you really, like, meet some of these people, you realize that they really are depressed, you know, they're really not 
shining their light or they feel stuck, they feel stagnant. And you know, these are a lot of oftentimes the people that are just negative, that are just that are just projecting what they feel inside. And then you realize you don't really want to be them. So just because we see them from afar and realize that they're doing well with themselves doesn't necessarily mean that they're living their truth. And a lot of people make a lot of money but they're not living their truth. And it ultimately shows because money is just a material thing. And it's not, it's not something that controls our happiness at the, at the grand scheme of things. We have to be happy from within first. And you realize that, you know, when you are being real truthful, no matter how much possessions you have, no matter how high you are in society, people who want to be around you, people who want to hear from you, and this isn't just always positive people. This is also people who are negative, people who are trying to zap your energy from you. You have to be ready for that. If you're shining your light, if you're sharing your truth, what I'm doing right now, speaking out my truth, there was a lot of times where I was hiding and I felt stuck. I felt stuck in a, in a profession where I, I couldn't say what I wanted to say. I feel like I couldn't shine my light, you know, but once I'm you know, as I'm growing, I'm learning to not be afraid of that because of other opinions, because of people who ultimately will, when they hear this, want to, you know, either dim my light, they'll want to remove it because, you know, they can't, they can't really relate to it. And so as long as you are understanding that everyone gets attracted to this light, the positive and negative, you know, you'll be in a, in a much better place because you'll know what's happening. You'll know what's going on. Another, another way that I understand that, that I understood that I was living my truth, and one way that you guys will understand is, is to know that when you're living your truth, you will be addicted to growth. You will be addicted to growth. What does that mean? When you wake up, it won't be enough to just keep going to this job, to, to keep seeing this person, you know, to, to be in a safe place. You know, when you're, when, you're, when you're living your truth, a lot of times you, you don't want to be stagnant. You want to continue to grow. When you're passionate about something, you want to continue to get better at it, whether it be physically, you know, in the NFL, watching film, if you're playing any sport, watching film, growing, studying the greats. You know, spiritually, constantly reading, you know, whether you read the Bible, you know, YouTube video, they got a lot of stuff on YouTube that, that just people are, are, are shining their lights and showing you yours in the same process. All, all these things are, are ways to constantly grow. You, you're not satisfied with where you are at. When you are living your truth, you aren't satisfied with where you are at. You realize that life is a journey with a whole lot of steps. And you're constantly trying to move up and forward, up and forward. And you're constantly, constantly growing. You know, you know that you, you're not living your truth if you're feeling just like boggled down and you're feeling like you don't have a lot of worth. Maybe you're at home eating a bunch of Cheetos on the couch and there's no judgment with that but just understand that you may have to reevaluate where you're at. Maybe what you're doing is not living your truth and you probably feel that. You probably feel, you know, like there's more that you need to be doing. And just follow those thoughts, follow those intentions, follow what the universe is trying to tell you and you eventually get to a point where you kind of know what path you're, you're supposed to get on. If you listen, the universe will tell you, it'll explain it to you. You know, listen to your mind, listen to what it's telling you. What is the, the fourth thing that, that, that helped me out when it comes to knowing that I'm living my truth? And it's consciously, consciously putting the right things in my body, consciously, consciously trying to eat healthier, drink water. Now this is something that isn't <laughs> it's not easy to do and it's something that trust me I'm the number one person when it comes to cheat meals cheat weeks sometimes you know but to consciously know the 
that your body is a vessel to consciously know that these meat suits that we have that our souls are, are in are are meant to to live out a purpose they're meant to take us to where we want to go and we have to treat these these vessels with respect we have to treat it like a temple we have to put the right things in it we have to fill our minds with the right frequencies the right music all of that it all it all contributes to our overall you know ascension and understanding that will really you know help you understand you know your purpose because when you're treating your body right whether it be you know in a physical sport like football that's easy to see what happens when you don't treat your body right you're not able to perform the way you want to but you know when it comes to mentally on the test if you're not putting the right things in your mind if you're not treating your mental right if you're constantly filling it with garbage 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 that's what eventually comes out you know maybe you're just tired throughout the day because you're constantly up you know doing the wrong thing and staying up all night and you're not treating your your brain with the respect it deserves maybe spiritually you know maybe when it comes to eating you're not eating right you're feeling dense you're feeling like the cow that you're eating you're feeling like the cow that you're eating and maybe you don't feel that same connection that you once had with the universe because you're eating dead food you're eating death but expecting life you see it doesn't work like that you're eating death but expecting life now like i said it's not something i'm just saying just go cold turkey full vegan you know you know, but constantly understand and make conscious decisions to understand, you know, how important your health is for your development, for your growth, and, and, and ultimately for living your truth. The fifth thing, the fifth thing that I, that I had to understand, that I was living my truth when I was treating other people around me with love. Whatever's inside of you, you will ultimately project to others. And you will see that other people around you need that love. And when they recognize your light, they will appreciate it so much more. And when you're passionate about what you're doing, you, can, you, you have no other choice. You know how difficult it is to hate, to hate on people when you are in such a loving place and when you're in such a spiritually divine place and you are living where you're supposed to be you're doing the things you're supposed to do. You know how difficult it is to, to, to hate on people? It's very difficult to do. You know, we all have our bad days. We all have our bad days, but ultimately, you will, you will treat other people with love. You know, when you understand that, that what goes around comes around, you understand karma, when you understand the flow of energy, you understand, like, when you're, when you're tapped into that frequency, it's hard, it's, it's difficult to, to to be there and still act like you're in a, a lower level in terms of wanting to hurt people. It's very difficult to do and you'll know it. You'll just know it. And I, So when it came to, to me and when I'm out creating, when I'm out doing my thing, I realized that, you know, people, people see it people see it and you ultimately want them to feel the same thing you ultimately you show them love you treat them with respect because you want them to feel the same way you do because we're all connected I know I got a little off there but that's just my Pisces flowing <laughs> what is the sixth thing that I had to realize is when you're living your truth you will often be uncomfortable I know I said earlier that you when you're living your truth, you attract people. You attract everyone, not just the good, you attract the bad. You will often be uncomfortable when you're living your truth because there will be people, entities, frequencies, energies that are constantly not trying to allow you to shine. Not that they're jealous, you know, or they just are really good at manipulating. Really, sometimes they're really good at trying to manipulate you in order to grab some of that light from you because they can't produce it themselves. 
you know, you'll often be uncomfortable. You know, when I'm doing what I'm doing, when I'm creating, when I'm trying to shine my light, you know, that's something that I have to be ready for. That's something that I am ready for. When you're doing what you want to do, you have to be ready. That's not always going to be easy. It's also steps. It's also steps to growth. Growth is 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 helped out by the challenges that we are given. These tests bring testimonies, and we're able to grow from it because we are growing, and we are going through challenges in order to come out on the other side a bigger, better person. When I was at the University of Florida, for example, when people would get in trouble, a lot of times they made the whole team run stadiums. Now we had this big old stadium, Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. I don't know how many steps are in the stadium, but they made us run each and every step. Each and every step. And we hated it. You know, that's what growth is, steps. And so it's not gonna be easy. But at the end of it, we were at the beach. You know, we had our, our pants rolled up, had our legs just blasting. You know, we were strong, you know. So there's gifts at the end of it, you know, but it's not easy when it's happening. And it's uncomfortable when it's going on. When you're growing, it's uncomfortable. When you're learning, sometimes it's uncomfortable. Sometimes you have to unmask a lot of the things that you're leaving behind. A lot of the things that you've been accustomed to for so long, sometimes when you're growing, you realize that these things don't suit you anymore and it's difficult to give up sometimes if you want to move forward. So growth is uncomfortable. Living your truth is often uncomfortable for these many reasons. Another thing I realized is when you're living your truth, you'll begin to manifest things faster. Things in your life will manifest faster. When you are setting your intentions, when you're setting your goals and you're happy, you're passionate, you're moving forward and what you want to do, what you meant to do, when you're in a relationship and you're happy, you're moving forward, that energy, that feeling behind these intentions, behind these goals that you put and set aside for yourself, that energy, that feeling that those emotions are the, the, the match they're the match that ignites the fire that causes things to become a reality in your life. The match is what causes it. And that's from your emotions. That's from your feelings. It's not enough to just say it. It's not enough to just want it. You have to really want it. You have to really, you know, set your heart space behind it. This is where our power lies. Our power lies in our emotions, our feelings, things you can't even see. When people see your light, they don't necessarily see anything. They feel it. That's your power. That's energy, that's frequency. You can't see it, you just feel it. And you feel it strongly a lot of times when you're really passionate about something. When you, when you see somebody speak, when you see Martin Luther King speak, it was just his birthday a couple, or what, last week? You see the passion in him. You feel his light. You feel his energy. And once you understand the power of energy, the power of frequency, you'll realize that it really is a superpower when you're able to use it the right way. And so when you want to manifest something, when you want to, when you want something to actualize in this physical plane, you have to first bring the passion behind it. And when you're living your truth, that passion is already there. That's how you know you're living it because you're just happy you're, try, you're constantly trying to grow through this. And that'll help you to manifest these things faster. You'll see things happen in your life. Wow, you know, I said that I was gonna go get this car. You put all the work into it and you see it happening. That's how you know you're living your truth. The universe will, will gift you with the work that you put into it. What's the final thing that helped me out along my journey, along my life? and how I knew that I was living my truth was I began to see synchronicities. I began to see synchronicities. What do I mean by that? The number is 1111. If you're seeing that, you're seeing some synchronicities. Numerology, 44. There's a reason I changed my number to 44. In numerology, this number 
signifies a master healer. You know, 11, 11, when you see 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, these, these, these constant numbers, a lot of times, it's a signifying spiritual lessons. These are angelic lessons. A lot of times it's the universe letting you know that you are on the right path. Deja vu. Are you doing something and you, you realize you've seen it before? It, it seems it seems so real, like you've seen it before. It's because you have. You have seen it before. You, you are, in a lot of ways, remembering why you're here. You're remembering who you are. You're constantly growing. You're waking up. You're realizing your truth. Follow it. Follow it. If you're seeing these synchronicities and you're doing something, keep doing it. <laughs> keep doing it. If you're feeling off about something, something doesn't feel right, and you see a universal something to you, a synchronicity, then maybe, you, maybe you're feeling the right thing. Trust your intuition, trust your life, trust your guides that are all around you. When I was growing up, my father used to always tell me about these, about you know the ancestors speaking to you. They're not gonna speak to you through words. If you're sitting there waiting for words and and listening to like how we hear. A lot of times you're not gonna hear, you may. There are people who, who do see and hear things visually through our five senses, our six senses, if you wanna count. That's another conversation. But when you start to feel these things and hear these things, a lot of times it's through ways that we can comprehend it. For my father, it was license plates. We, would be, we used to have a long drive to get to, to school, where right? I went to school at a private school in D.C., 45 minute drive, and a lot of the times my father would be telling me these, these spiritual concepts, these lessons, and a car would cut, cut us off, or be right in front of us, or we would be talking, and we would see somebody with a license plate saying, live, love, laugh, which is very important in his life, because it's something his grandmother had at her funeral. And it would either have live, live strong, love hard, you know, laugh a lot. This is a, a concept that he knows, you know, when he sees these three words, this is the universe speaking to him. This is his ancestors speaking to him. You know, for me, I have a tattoo on my arm of three birds. The song Three Little Birds by Bob Marley was extremely important for me in my life and my development. And, you know, what I realized is because of the passion behind this symbol, this message, the universe brings out these three birds whenever I need it most, whenever I'm doubting myself, or even when I'm on the right path and I'm feeling really good about myself to remind me that I'm on the right path, to remind me that every little thing is gonna be all right. Every little thing is gonna be all right. These are the words that I hear when I see these three birds. When they, it'll be just be three birds flying through the air in unison as one. And these are my synchronicities. And everyone, you have something that you're passionate about. You can, you can program your own reality to fit, you know, what you're passionate about. You set your intentions, you set your emotions behind it. And these things become a reality for you. And you allow the universe to work in your favor, to speak to you to let you know that everything's all right. And then you just smile. And you just keep making the world a much, much, much better place. God is in me, through me, for me, and with me. And where there's God, there is no imperfection. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.